Okay, 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 shit. Alright, maybe I'll bring you guys with me. Yeah, yeah, I'll bring you guys with me. It's a vlog. Let's go outside, bud. You get to pee pee and poo poo, alright? You get to pee pee and freaking poo poo. Playtime. All right, guys. So this video is gonna be a vlog, a full day vlog of me fasting. All right. And how long am I fasting for? The whole day. Why am I fasting for the whole day, guys? Let me tell you guys about it. Check this out. You see this? You see that rash right there? I've been getting that rash, and right there too. It started off here, it started off here, and then it just started to happen here like a few days ago. So this rash, all right, let's get into this rash. This rash, I think it's this thing called hermatitis, or dermatitis, all right? And it's basically, I was doing the research, and it starts off with people who are allergic to gluten, and kind of like something with their gut. and. It's an autoimmune disease. I, I, saying disease makes it sound worse than it actually is. Here's the thing, I eat gluten all the freaking time and I did not have this reaction until now. Okay, that sucks. It's It saddens me because I love my pizza and I love my burgers. And here's my theory of how I developed this rash, dermatitis, this thing. It all happens because I do intermittent fasting. And when I break my intermittent fasting, I eat the worst foods, all right? I eat... <laughs> It's terrible, but I eat pizza, and then after eating pizza, I eat ice cream. And if I feel in the mood for it, I'd probably eat some fries. All right, I've literally been eating everything that an obese man would want to freely eat. Okay, and I've been able to maintain. Again, I had I didn't gain much weight because I've been intermittent fasting, and I thought that gave me leeway to just eat whatever macronutrients in excess that I wanted to. Like. I'm eating very high sugar and high fat and very moderate protein. It's terrible, all right? Do not do what I did, all right? It was great as an experiment to see how much weight I could, well, not really gain, because I didn't really gain much weight from doing this, but I did lose a little muscle mass and I got a little sick. What kind of sick? This kind of sick. That's what kind of sick I got. So anyways, guys, today I'm gonna do a full day of eating. <laughs> it's actually, I'm fasted. So today I'm gonna do a full day vlog on this Rational fasting. If you do not watch Elliot Hulse, you should watch him. All right, let's go to the living room. Let me show you guys my living room. Let's go there. By the way, this is Barry. Look at him. Barry, what the F are you chewing on my shoe? You son of a monkey. Well, I'm not a monkey. He's my son. You son of a handsome man. All right, let's go in the kitchen here, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm about to make. I'm going to make myself some snake juice, okay? And no, I do not have a pet snake, although I do have a trouser snake, and it is pretty tiny. I'm Asian. All right, let's make some snake juice. Let's get into this. What is snake juice? Snake juice is basically electrolyted water, okay? And electrolytes that I'm about to use is... What is this? It is... It's basically this thing called no salt. It's a no salt... It's no salt is a sodium-free salt alternative, and the main ingredient in this is... Potassium chloride, all right, that is an electrolyte. Potassium chloride, I also got here some baking soda, and I also got here some, what else am I using? Sea salt, all right? I use pink, I use pink Himalayan sea salt. Those are the three ingredients to make, well, basically snake juice, okay? So how much of each? Here's a one liter water. Let me just open this up just so you guys could see. Wait, ooh, look at that glass, glass. Bottle. It's very pretty, isn't it? Link in the bottle. Link in the description, guys. It's double walled too, so it keeps your drinks cold and warm when it needs to. But let's get into the. <clears throat> so how much of each ingredient? One liter water, and then we are gonna go to the ingredients. All right. So half a teaspoon of this potassium chloride, all right, that's the no salt. You could get it, I got this at Fred Meyers. So there's a potassium chloride. And then baking soda. I forgot what's the main chemical that this is called, but then half a teaspoon of baking soda. All right. By the way, if you hear that bell, that's Barry. He actually wants to use the bathroom right now. He's so freaking smart. Hold on, bud, I'll bring you soon, okay? And then here is the sea salt. 
The sea salt is a quarter teaspoon. Hold on, boy. And, yep, quarter teaspoon. And that is it. There's also magnesium that you could put a quarter teaspoon of magnesium, aka Epsom salt, but I don't do that because I need to go to the store. And also, here's a secret ingredient that I like to add. Here's this thing. It's called pure black, right? It's shilaji. And I'll tell you guys more about it. Son of a gun. Look at, look at him. Look at him. He's just, he just really wants to use the bathroom. Okay, okay, okay. Shit. All right, maybe I'll bring you guys with me. Yeah, yeah, I'll bring you guys with me. It's a vlog after all. All right. Oh, shit. Let's go outside, bud. You get to pee pee and poo poo, all right? You get to pee pee and freaking poo poo. Let's go. Yeah, you're gonna be on camera. Go for it. Let's go. All right, buddy. Let's go. Go poop. Such a fucking cutie pie. Go. So I think that Barry thinks. <laughs> Look at him. I think that he thinks that the camera is actually a play toy because there's like the microphone right on top and it looks like a dead mouse. So he thinks we're gonna play fetch or something right now, which we're not. Go poop. Oh, he's peeing. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Are you gonna poop too? Go poopy. I'm gonna wait upstairs, okay? Go poopy though. No? Alright. Let's go inside now, bud. Come on. <coughs> so with this thing called Shilaji, I just put a little a little bit guys, I'm talking very little Like this many You see this? I just put that I just put that much of tar Inside of my water and I just literally gotta keep on stirring it in there That And it turns into a brown mess, you're about to see it afterwards So what is Shilaji, you ask? Let me tell you It's basically in the Himalayas, there was, or the Himalayans there was the, the valley like thousands of years ago, right? And oh, I'm just gonna just drop that spoon in there. And basically what happens was there was the valley, the, the Himalayan forest, if you will. And the Himalayan forest got buried through the mountains. The Himalayan mountains like collapsed. Not really collapsed, but kind of like got pushed together and all that vegetation, the whole valley of forest is just buried and just compressed inside of the mountain and then there is tar this black tar aka shilaji that is secreting out of the mountain which is all of that dense mineralized vegetation so this is just minerals right here it's all minerals that is super good for you and they found that it's super good for you because they saw the himalayan monkeys actually eating the the tar the shilaji and those monkeys were like superhuman they could fly and shit psychic abilities yeah I'm, I'm joking about the psychic abilities and flying. I actually got a meeting for a business consultant online. I have to go on a Zoom call soon. And I have to basically get ready for work. I'm gonna take you guys along with me, all right? I wanna talk to you guys at the gym, see how I feel, and just basically vlog how I feel from doing this whole fasting for the whole day. And all I'm gonna have today, guys, all right, all I'm eating is this. Is this, this is all I'm eating today, just this dirty water. You see the water getting brown because of the shilaji. Um, but yeah, just that and I'm going to actually make another batch like this. I'm going to have just two liters of the snake juice. Okay? I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys before I go to the gym. As I'm <laughs> so I'm actually on my way to the gym and this is my pre-workout, okay? Um, I don't know if this is allowed on a prolonged fasting, but it's zero calories and it has caffeine in it. And it's tasty. Let me show you guys what I'm drinking, really. It's called Cascade. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Cascade. I got it from Fred Meyers, like where I got a lot of things. But yeah, zero calories. 
and I like it. 160 milligrams of caffeine. Totally support it. So you guys can see me just got out of work and I'm still fasted guys. I'm feeling like shit to be honest. So guys, I just got home, took a quick shower and here's how my rash is looking at the moment. I just put some, I just put some, um, what's that called? Some coconut oil and a little hydrocortisone on top of it. I'm pretty tired guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty tired and yes, it's been, I'm fasted for over 26 hours now. Last meal I had was yesterday at 10 p.m. All right, so I am pretty tired. It could be just a mine. I'm trying not to let it get to me. But um, one of the key things with fasting, I think is definitely just being hyper aware. You know what I'm saying? Definitely be be conscious of, are you really hungry? I, I, I actually am pretty damn freaking hungry. Um, also, I truly feel that with fasting, it's definitely a chance to start meditating. And if you're not meditating, it's definitely a chance to start praying more. You know what I'm saying? So I just actually tonight when I got home, I started to like really dive deeper into my faith and kind of just have some prayer time while I'm in this fasted state. And it does kind of like put you in a position where you just want to kind of, I don't know where you are in your faith, but kind of like rely on God, if you will, for strength to go on with the day. You know what I mean? To fight the temptation of having and wanting to feel or your addiction, like having, having the need to want to have food. Or you know what I mean, just to fight the need of wanting food. That's Barry drinking his water right now. Lucky guy, you got to eat. But anyways guys, this is the rest of my snake juice. I got, I drank one of these already and this is my second liter, all right? At work I got to drink a little bit of other waters, just like regular tap water with some lime. To be honest, I don't like work water too much, tap water, cause all this, again, all those like freaking chlorine and shit, that's terrible for you. Anyways, here's some more snake juice, so I'm just drinking that. And I'm gonna top it off with a little turmeric tonight. A little turmeric and snake juice. That's what's gonna be my dessert, if you will. My little my little nightcap, you know? But, so around a tablespoon. Yep, that sucks. That's not that tasty. Um, one of the things that I forgot to get was apple cider vinegar. I needed to get that today, but I totally didn't get the chance to. It's already 12 a.m. and oh man, I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna try to post this tomorrow morning. All right, guys, it is Friday night and it's actually Saturday morning right now. I'm gonna try to post this in the next eight hours, eight hours from now maybe. <laughs> man, we'll see if I even do that. I'm pretty tired. Um, guys, I work a double tomorrow, all right? I work at 11 a.m. till most likely 11 at night. We'll see, 12 hour shift. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But overall guys, today I felt normal, all right? I am pretty used to being in a 24 hour fast. I am used to that. I think just today I'm a little bit worn out because I know that tomorrow I'm gonna continue to be in a fasted state. Usually when I do a 24 hour fast, the second it's 24 hours, I'm feasting. Like right now, I'd be feasting generally. Usually, I'd be feasting. But right now, I am just, just fighting the urge to go into this fridge and just, just, just tear shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, man, I'm so starving. Actually, I'm not starving. I'm more tired than anything. My stomach seems fine, and it doesn't seem like it's not garbling. Like you know how like your stomach growls for food. Like it's hungry. I'm not that. I'm not hangry. I'm not craving a tremendous amount of food right now. I'm just really tired and really calm and that's where I feel right now um, that's my experience I don't know how you guys ever feel if you pass 24 hours being fasted but yeah guys my whole goal with this fast is just 48 hours and part of the purpose is just to see where I'm at if I am able to 
probably do a prolonged fast, maybe five days or something. But again, I'm just trying to do two days, 48 hours. Part of the reason is to just get rid of the inflammation on my skin and just to kind of reboot my body and my immune system, if you will. You guys, if you guys do intermittent fasting or prolonged fasting, comment down below if you enjoyed this quick little one day episode or one day vlog. Comment down below, say what's up. You know what I'm saying? What's up? Show some love, guys. All right, anyways guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys got something from this video. I hope you guys are entertained with it. I don't even know if it's entertaining. I just basically talked to you guys and took you guys along with me in my 24 hour fast. Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah. I'm just repeating myself, right? Anyways guys, I hope I see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna film tomorrow talking about how it's like for the rest of the 24 hours of my fast. So day two is tomorrow. Guys, thank you so much again. Remember, whatever trials you are going through, it's all uphill from here. Thanks again. As always, God bless you. And have the best day ever.